Okay, in this example, we are asked to solve. At the end of a solve, what should we have? Um, C equals, in this case, an answer. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, if we're looking at this, we've got some thirds, some fractions. It's, it's definitely on the harder end of the scale. How would you start this one, Mr. Song? Um, I would start by distributing the root 5. Okay, and when you distribute that root 5, what do you have to be careful of? Um, let's see. The root 5, uh, multiplying by roots. Yeah, roots here. always multiplying by roots and numbers by numbers. Sometimes we see mistakes where students will combine those two ideas. Numbers always by numbers and roots always by roots. Okay, then I'll go ahead and do the left side of the equal sign. So the square root of 5 is going to be distributed to 2 root 6 and c times root 5. So 2 times square root of 5 times 6 is 30 plus c times root 5 times root 5 is going to be 5c. Good. So any root times itself comes out. So root 5 times root 5, root anything times that same thing will come out from underneath the square root sign, 5c. Good? Okay. Oh, this looks messy on the right-hand side. What are you going to do there? Well, I know I see this as square root of 300, and I, can, I know it can be simplified because 300 is 3 times 100, and 100 is a square number. So I am going to simplify square root of 300 as 10 root 3. Eight C over root three. Excellent. So now we can see we can probably on the left hand side. I don't see anything we can do. There's nothing to collect. There's no perfect square factors of thirty. However, on the right hand side, it looks like we still have this fraction, and we have a common part on the top, a common radical. I'm not sure exactly. I like radical, shall we say? A root three on the numerator and a root three on the denominator. Anything you divide by itself ends up being 1. Good, so we can cancel those out, leaving a much easier equation. There you go. And I could have gone ahead and wrote ABC, but... Yeah, let's go for that on the next line. So now you have 2 root 30 plus 5 C's equals 80 C's. And our goal, as we stated at the beginning, is to just get isolate C on its own. And it's C's on both sides, so what's next? I have to move this 5C to the other side. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 5C. And it looks a bit messy, a third equaling a, a number, a natural number times c, but we just follow our inverse operations, trying to isolate c. And next we will divide both sides by 75. And then you get okay, okay. divide the right side by 75, divide the left side by 75. And 75 over 75 is 1, so I get. 2 root 30 over 75 is equal to C. Excellent. So we would uh, consider that a level 5, 6 in our program, and we have thirds and fractions all together, but keep chipping away at it one thing at a time, and you can solve that C equals 2 root 30 over 75. Now, we're just going to show there's a little bit of a different way you could have tackled the right-hand side, so we'll switch colors here. It's a good color to use. Oh, blue's good, isn't it? And let's just focus on the roots there on the right-hand side. So you could have rewritten root 300 over th root 3 and then times 8c. We haven't changed the value of the problem, but we can now take the root 300 divided by root 3 and turn that into root of 100 times 8c. And that gives us the 80c or 10 times 8c. Okay, and so either you can follow that blue path on the right-hand side or the green. Both will get you the same way as long as we follow all the rules uh, of mathematics. Not yeah. all the rules of mathematics, but uh, the rules that apply to this problem. <laughs> Great. <laughs>